The Great War and the Death of God. Now, imagine with me for a moment, if you will, that you are living in the most beautiful summer you have ever experienced. In fact, it's the most beautiful summer that anyone in living memory has experienced. Maybe you're you're in Europe, and you're out in the Swiss Alps in a beautiful little cottage with the rolling green valleys and the little sheep. Or, or maybe you're enjoying the lush countryside of France, you know, with a, a tea on the bank of the Seine River. And you open up your newspaper, flip it open, and you read there that some foreign heir apparent was just shot in Serbia. You close your newspaper and you turn to your wife and you say, honey, don't worry, Europe won't go to war. After all, we live in an enlightened world with science and progress and the European powers. They know that if we were to go to war, well, we'd undermine civilization itself. But then, 10 days later, you find yourself buttoning up your military uniform, putting on your pit helmet, grabbing your rifle, and marching off to the front lines of the most destructive war humanity had yet seen. A war which quickly turned into a meat grinder, where generals literally sent soldiers out to stop machine gun fire with their chests. And after World War I, World War II, the Nazi concentration camps, the gulag, the start of communism, the spread of death and destruction around the world, Korea, Vietnam, Afghanistan, Iraq, and today, Ukraine. Or think of the cultural upheaval of the 20th century, the sexual revolution, the emptying out of churches, the loss of vocations. What happened? Well, a man by the name of Alexander Solzhenitsyn, he was a survivor of the Russian Gulag and a commentator on events of the 20th century. He argued that what started in the Great War and carried on to the 20th century happened because man forgot God. Now, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't see it. Like, how did we go from just setting God aside in the Enlightenment to mustard gas, landmines, trench warfare in the wor First World War? So, in writing my capstone, I sought to find the answer to this. And I believe the answer lies in the thought of a German writer, um, a mystic, some would even call him. You see, I believe, as does Friedrich Nietzsche, that what happened in the Great War in, in the following century did not happen because man simply forgot God. No, no, no. No, as Zarathustra, Nietzsche's literary character, runs through the streets proclaiming like a madman, God is dead, and we have killed him. Doing so, man killed himself.